Hello and welcome to Veggie Patcher Ideas. Today we have a fantastic one. It's all about potting on. So I'm surrounded by my seedlings here, as we all are, and it's time to get going. So today we're going to cover, and this is science-based by the way, and I'll link the, uh, the science journal or science daily or wherever I got it from in the description. Uh, but it tells you we can increase the size of our plants by 43%. Just by doing one simple thing and, and that's potting them on and i'll show you what i use so i use for one the newer end of the market and that's these tea bags uh we'll get into that plastic pots which are great uh and then we go to our more traditional standard pots larger seed trays and again larger cell trays so let's get going so there are a few rules and the first rule is over potting so let's take a little seedling like this it comes from probably an inch and a half of soil now if i over potted that into a pot this sort of size it may look appear fine and it may do all right but we have a tendency of overwatering. Okay, so if that seedling come in here and I overwatered this or I saturated the ground, the roots would basically stay in and rot. So it looked fine for two weeks, and then you'll wonder why your seedling's not growing, and then it'll hit you like a freight train. It's basically the roots are rotting out. So we want to avoid overpotting at all costs. So that can go move it down to a smaller say so move it down to a smaller bag or pot <laughs> so something like this would be actually something like this would be perfect it probably doubles the size of what we've got here so an inch and a half by volume and then this doubles it we fill it up we put our seed in there or our little cell into this pot we firm it down and we water as normal but not over watering and and what happens is for the science of it is the roots will fan out and they'll try and find the side of the pot and once they hit the side they'll start growing down and it basically tells the plant sort of their growing conditions so it's found by science not really the nutrition really so that's an interesting point but the size of the tub and and when they increase the pot size by double they had success by 43 percent of the, the plant growing bigger and like i said i'm going to link it for you so you can have a read but very interesting but as a gardeners we do this anyway we pot on so we kind of know the science anyway but it's just been confirmed. So not too big, not too small, just right. When we are potting on, so say if it, the plant has been in this pot for a long time, it's got fairly established and you're seeing roots come through. We know that's a signal. We need it to pot on again and we'll use the bigger bags. So let's get into it let's get started so at home you're probably surrounded by seedlings at the moment like us all so it's time to now start potting some of these on and there are different ways to do it so pay attention uh the first thing is is if you've sowed all your seeds in a low nutrient seedling mix like a john innis number one then if these have got any decent size on them they are going to need to come out of that seedling mix and into a slightly larger pot or cell uh, with some multi-purpose compost. So let's start off with our lettuce. And this was grown in a normal cell tray like this one and potted on, I'd say a week and a half ago into a four cell tray. And it loves it in here. It, it's thriving and it's getting bigger every day. Not put it under grow lights. I'm growing it like... 95% of every gardeners out there uh, this isn't under grow lights 24 7 this is just in the polytunnel so that's coming on leaps and bounds and then 
from here once it gets a little bit bigger it'll either go into a low tunnel outside or into a hanging basket in the polytunnel haven't decided yet but this is moon red and this is what you want it, it potted up into a slightly bigger container lots of soil lots of moisture and it'll just grow away and, and romp away then so that's your lettuce moving on to things like tomatoes now as you can see this is very overcrowded uh, there is a trick with tomatoes as well when you pop them on make sure you bury half the stem and i'll show you as we go but just bury half the stem under the soil and the roots will come out from the stem and, and anchor the plant down a lot better so that's the way you plant on tomatoes deep as you want so if you've got a leggy seedling go halfway down and it'll be absolutely fine so that's a rule with tomatoes and trying to always stick to that if you can as well like i said with these bags they are perfect for what they do they just sit in here you can get loads into a cell tray and they're just good at expanding that root base and and tomatoes they do like restricted roots so you can let this grow on until you see all the roots coming around the bottom and then you know it's time to move this one on so once it starts to get a bit root bound and you can see them and they're restricting i would then either move it on to a larger cell bag like this or or, or a larger pot and then into the ground so another few stages on your tomatoes so next up we've got our pak choy and these have just been sat in the greenhouse no special treatment but these have all germinated as well which if you know or you if you know the channel so far you know pak choy is my ultimate nemesis uh they've all germinated so i'm very very happy and it's all about looking after these so the ones i sowed a week before these they've grown up much more and they're all now potted up so these are now bigger plants as for these little ones these need a couple of weeks extra growth and then we can pot these up and and the reason i'm repotting pak choy and you don't really have to is one i've got a massive problem with flea beetle here and i want to get the plants as big as humanly possible before i put them into the soil so stage one stage two and these will grow for quite a while in these little sacks uh, I want to get a decent plant and then they're out in the soil fending for themselves. But if I put them out just yet, they're going to get destroyed. So stage one, stage two, then into the soil. So that's the back pak choy. The tomatoes. Put those to one side. Now moving on, we've got the ruby streak mustard. And this is, well, it looks very, very stringy, but this is definitely, it is crying out for repotting. They've all grown very, very well. Uh, but this, again, was John Innes number one. So I know the nutrient level in this little plug is very, very low. And to move the plant on again to that next stage to make the most of all this light is decent soil and proper nutrition. So these will all have to be replugged. And what I'm going to do. I've got two different types of medias that I can repot onto. So again, the bags, but I've got these little plastic things as well. And they're like pots. Uh, they're just like plastic bags. I have the drainage holes in the bottom. But these, again, it's just enough to hold the soil. Let that grow, plant grow on a little bit more, and then it can go out into the soil. And with things like your spinach, well worth potting that on if you put them out too soon and you do have slugs in the area they're just going to wipe those seedlings out so the spinach needs to be potted on as well as for the french radish well these believe it or not these are fine uh you can let them grow out a little bit more and then just go straight into the ground with a radish uh so that tray is absolutely fine 
And then the last tray, we've got our broccoli, and this is screaming again to be uh, potted on. Seedlings have come on very, very well. Uh, purple sprouting and the standard broccoli, so the big F1 type broccolis. Uh, these will need potting on. I want that plant nice and strong before it goes out into the main bed over there. We have some lettuce coming through finally, and this has taken about a month, so it's just... It's finally coming through and then the other one we have is the greyhound cabbage it's all germinated perfectly but that needs potting on so we'll go ahead and pot these on and so with the broccoli we want to fill our seed tray and what we're going to do with this one we're just going to move it to a bigger cell tray So we can keep all the seedlings in one place uh, but give them the nutrients they need the broccoli are now in individual cells and these will just soak up all that nutrients and they'll put on another growth spurt and, and these will become mature of plants a lot lot faster so guys as always thanks for watching and if you do have any questions please put them in the comments below or if you, you know, if you want to share what you're sowing and potting on, add it to the comments. We'd all like to hear. Uh, we're all in it as a community, and I want to grow it as a community. So if we can help each other out, all the better. Uh, I ended up with two per sack, two per black uh, potting on extra sack, simply because the roots are too shallow and... Two will grow on fine in this one, so don't be scared if you want to split them into pairs. Absolutely fine. And we'll catch you next time.